Welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that will touch both your passion for electronics and your bank account at the same time. We have a selection of different items received in this mailbag video. I'm going to start with these quick connectors. So these are two input to four output type connectors and they can be useful if you want to split like a two wire pair into a uh, four wire pair and have those connected without having to solder wires or twist them together or uh, crimp them in a fixed way. Uh, these are rated for 600 volts let me check that 600 volts and 32 amps and can take a wire with a diameter between 0.08 and 4 millimeters as you can see the holes are quite wide but as always take these specs with a uh, grain of salt and don't push these to their limit if you want to stay on the safe side and always make sure that you have a tight connection with the wires if you're going to be pulling uh, some decent current through these. What I like is that they also have a couple of these mounting holes so you could attach these uh, fixed to a panel and have some nice uh, routing of wires going on. For example an application where I would use something like this would be to splice an additional light bulb socket onto uh, an existing fixture. So a light bulb is not such a high load and this would probably make the job quick and easy as always, you'll find the link to this product in the description below the video. My next item is uh, a set of these five-way navigation uh, joystick breakout boards. Uh, these are the uh, medium-sized joystick packages at 10 by 10 uh, millimeters with left, right, up and down and middle switch position on these. I'm not sure which brand of uh, switch they used in here. They don't really feel like super high quality like an Alps switch. So maybe this is a uh, Chinese brand of uh, switch in here. What's nice about this board is that it features an extra two tactile switches and all of these are wired up to the pin header on the side. Unfortunately there is no debouncing circuitry on uh, this uh, PCB that that would have been nice to have but in this case you're going to have to add that filtering externally or consider doing it in software. Personally I always use RC filters on um, rotary encoders and switches like this even though I have software debouncing happening the final result is cleaner when also using a um, harder filter and you don't have to insert those uh, long delays into the software filtering routine which kind of limits the max speed you can track the pulses at. They also included this small plastic cap for uh, the joysticks and I like having this kind of breakout board because it allows you to quickly hook up an input method to a board you are working with but if you need something more specific you can always uh, check out the sponsor of this video PCBWay.com where you can get your professional PCBs manufactured at affordable pricing with fast turnaround times. They also offer complete turnkey solutions where they handle everything from sourcing the parts to assembling and testing your boards before shipping. Check out their website linked below. My next item is a 10 meter roll of 24 AWG shielded wire and this is a PVC coated wire rated only up to 80 degrees Celsius but that's good enough for most applications. This has three signal wires in here and one shield and of course you can find this in uh, many variations with as many inside conductors as you need. I just happen to need just three. Really useful for getting good signal integrity in noisy environments. Even on my RC planes I sometimes use stuff like this to pass some analog video feed from the camera to the video transmitter to avoid any artifacts appearing on the image. Now, there are often high currents passing nearby in the motors and the motor drivers which can be picked up by sensitive video systems. And as always it's uh, cheaper to get this stuff in higher quantity like 10 meters and I seem to be using more and more of this stuff lately. Next I uh, have a couple of these uh, fridge thermometers and I'm not sure how uh, accurate these are because right now the ambient is about uh, 24 degrees Celsius and they're showing about uh, 26 degrees Celsius uh, so maybe we shouldn't judge them on that because they're not supposed to 
measure that high uh, up the range these can be useful in your kitchen fridge if you want to monitor the temperature or in some kind of cold storage you have maybe you have one of those small fridges in your lab to keep the solder paste fresh this could be a nice indication that things are staying within the allowed range this is the second time this seller is sending me the wrong lcd so you've heard me say this before i'm ordering a 2.2 inch 240 by 320 pixel resolution LCD but instead I'm receiving a 176 by 220 pixel display and I get that it might be confusing because both of these variants exist and they look very similar but I've requested and received a refund the first time ordered another one and once again the wrong model so it seems like I will be getting another refund Luckily, I did order the same LCD from another couple of sellers uh, just to be sure after the first uh, attempt. So uh, I already received one of the good ones and I'm waiting for the second good one to arrive. For my next item, I once again have that story where I don't remember exactly where I wanted to use it because it took four months for delivery. And these are mini USB mail connectors and by the looks of it, you could even solder these on a PCB maybe like you could have the right thickness of PCB that would uh, slide between those two rows of uh, contacts I'm thinking I probably have some older piece of equipment in here that uses one of these mini USB connectors and maybe I wanted to make like a custom cable or something like that in any case you'll find the link to these in the description below if you're interested in uh, some old technology Next, I have a bunch of adhesive products from uh, this company. Uh, you've seen this before on the channel. I'm not going to try to pronounce their name anymore because it seems impossible. We could call this just the K company. That would be fine for me. So I'll probably do a separate video to test these because I'm primarily interested in using them on electronics. But uh, let me quickly mention them. So I have the K1668 or the uh, so-called yellow glue. And this is rated for electronics used by the manufacturer. They claim fast curing time, electrical insulation, no corrosion and flame retardant after it's cured. Next, I have the K200R or the red glue. This is also rated for electronics use, but they claim this is best for mechanically securing screws. So I'm not sure if this is something like a Loctite for screws, which is very liquid like, or it's more like Celastic that you would uh, use to uh, hold uh, a capacitor to a board so it's not floating uh, but we'll test this in a separate video it could also be just uh, silicon based so you could maybe uh, secure three pots after adjusting them with this we'll see this uh, how this behaves in a separate test the k704 this is a silicon sealant with a working temperature of minus 50 to plus 200 degrees celsius and they recommend this for sealing against the moisture or arc prevention inside electrical equipment and then there is the uh, K586 or uh, black glue. This is also silicon based from what I could uh, translate and is recommended as gasket replacements for mechanical engine parts or, or for mechanically securing stuff, including for electronics. And you'll find a link for all of these in the description below. And like I said, I'll do a separate video on these. Uh, you might wait until you see that video before ordering any of these or you could just uh, go ahead and order them because it's going to take a long time to, for them to be delivered anyway. Next, I have a couple of uh, test leads and uh, this one, for example, has a uh, BNC connector on one end and two banana connectors at the uh, other end. This would be uh, useful for connecting your oscilloscope to a power supply or a similar situation. Uh, these wires feel pretty soft, but the rest of the cable is not as soft. Overall, I think this is PVC insulation, not silicon. Uh, the banana connectors are not super high quality uh, and you wouldn't expect it for something you get for cheap from AliExpress, but I can say they are certainly of decent quality. They are the type that make a very tight fit inside the sockets and there are no moving parts in here uh, that could uh, get um, wear and then uh, you would end up with a loose connection. So I think these will get the job done uh, very nicely. I also got myself uh, one of these uh, tweezer type test leads. 
So you get the banana connectors on one end and uh, these uh, would go into your multimeter and the tweezer type connection at the other end. Uh, this is useful for measuring small SMD components and uh, I want to run a test on these using a cheap multimeter on the continuity tester. This is not latched so it, it would be a good indication of the quality of the probe contacts because when you have a, a good probe with nice gold plating it will result in less interruptions in the continuity tester while if you have a bad connection well there will be a lot of interruptions. So as a control uh, we'll use these probe master probes which are super high quality so there, there are some interruptions but overall this is not a very scratchy uh, sound coming from the buzzer so this means the the high quality in these probes shows up and they provide a decent connection now let's connect the new tweezer probes And now I'm pretty sure you can hear the difference in quality because you know touching these is, is kind of squeaking on the uh, buzzer so it's obvious that these don't make uh, that perfectly good connection uh, these contacts are not high quality so I would probably put these in the low quality basket they're not super precise the contacts are not very good but still for the price these might get a quick job done half decently it all depends on how often you would use something like this myself I will use it maybe two or three times uh, a year something cheap like this makes much more sense than spending a lot more on something of higher quality same as always check out the links in the description below I also ordered myself some of this AWG 12 silicon wires. I want to make like a thicker test lead set to use in those scenarios where I'm working with higher currents. Uh, this all depends on whether you're using these with AC or DC, the number of strands inside the wire, the allowed temperature rise, the allowed voltage drop you accept on these. Uh, but I would say these are safe for up to 30 amps for dumping some DC voltage into a dummy load for example. You also need to take care of the uh, quality and power rating of the banana connectors that you're going to use but I've got those uh, covered as well. These are uh, surface mount sockets for 1808 size fuses so you might have seen these fuses around the equipment they're usually used when you need the higher rating like 5 or 7 amps uh, and uh, don't want to take up so much space inside the unit uh, but you also find these fuses rated for smaller currents like half an amp or one amp. What's great about these is that you can have a very small user replaceable ceramic fuse which doesn't take up a whole lot of board space in your design. And I just wanted to have a set of these because I already ordered the fuses in a different mailbag and I thought they might come in handy someday in a project I'm working on. They're pretty cheap so uh, they're worth keeping in my fuses bag. And these are the last items in today's video. I have some magnet wire also known as enameled wire, copper wire or jumper wire. If you did any kind of micro soldering board level repair you're probably familiar with this type of wire. Uh, it has this uh, enameled insulation uh, that you can strip away at the end, get it soldered to your jump wire repair and it can be safely routed over components because the enamel insulation protects it from short circuiting stuff in its path. Over time I have worked with different levels of quality on this type of wire and it's particularly difficult to find the good stuff on AliExpress. Some of this wire is intended for winding motors and coils that are working at high temperatures so it will have a very hard insulation that it's hard to get off with the usual method of using a blob of solder on your soldering iron tip. I can tell you that this red colored one that I have is somewhat easy to strip away the insulation and this is 0.2 millimeters thick. This is the size I would recommend if you're doing repairs on small stuff like in the range of uh, 0402 passives. I also got these uh, uh, smaller ones. These are 0.1 millimeter thick. I haven't tested these so far. They're a bit too thin for the kind of boards I am working on but I guess it might make sense for those repairing smartphone motherboards for example where space is very limited and the component pads are even smaller. Same as always you'll find links for all of these items in the description below. 
check them out and let me know in the comments if you found anything interesting to order in this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button to show your support. See you next time.